Hey everyone, Double Kick Sanji here and, well, Happy New Year! I know it's been really late on my anime DVD Blu-ray collection update video, but you know what I felt? Maybe it's time to just uh, make the updates a more fully calendar year kind of thing. So, you know, from January to December. So it just kind of keeps the uh, organization a little bit more even, if you know what I mean. But... Yeah, I don't have a lot of memory on my camera right now, so let's just go ahead. Um, we're going to be doing the little um, case here that I have. Case, no, shelf that I bought like a couple of years back. And a couple of steel books. Now, this does not have all of my limited editions. There, Some of those are in a box. So that's going to be part of another video. So let's uh, let's get to this then. Ow! Mm-hmm. All righty. So, I've already owned this before, but it's just an extra copy. Um, the original Tenshi Muyo Ryooki OVA series on DVD, which is one of the only ways that you can actually still have that little uh, ending cutscene English dubbed, because apparently the Funimation Blu-rays do not have that. So, yeah, that's actually a pretty damn good deal, if you ask me. Um, next up, we have... Come on. Got this from a Game Exchange. For just six bucks, all of the freaking anime Marvel series. And, you know, um, saw the X-Men one, and, you know, I'll probably check these other ones out later. But, I mean, hell, for that price, you can't really go, you can't really go wrong with it. Okay, next up, an oldie. Gunslinger Girl Seasons 1 and 2 and the OVAs on Blu-ray and DVD. So, I don't know if I'm gonna... Now, when I eventually go back home, um, you know, find the old DVDs and just sell those. But for right now, you know, I rewatched the first season and, god damn, like, this really was a good show. Like, I remember this back when, god, I think it was, like, during the time that I had the house fire in 05. Alright, now these, I'm just gonna take them all down because it's, like, one giant thing here. Oh, shit. Okay, careful. Fuck! Alrighty. Boom. Mm -hmm. All righty then. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, yeah, there we go. So here we've got all of Durarara two. I have not finished seeing all of this yet. Um, I kind of bought this on impulse because apparently, according to right stuff, these guys have become uh, discontinued, but. You know, I ended up buying these after finding out that apparently now Aniplex likes to do full-on box sets now like they're doing with Kill a Kill. So, you know, I might have gotten screwed over. Oh, and the Monogatari's motherfucker. <laughs> but I mean, I still have a soft spot for Durarara, Maso Mikita, and hell, even Mikado Ryugamine are going to still be some of my characters because I'll always be Team AAR use Mikado, and I'll still, for me... Still be, um, uh, Masomi Kita's, at least, because I've gotten a really interesting idea for Masomi Kita in my expanded, abridged universe. <laughs> but you know what? Also, I am now in something that's more ongoing. Well, I don't even, I don't, it may be ongoing. It's like, I know it's in one thing. I'm playing Shizuo in a Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax fan dub. So I'm like, well, now I've got, like, freaking three of the four main dudes from the series under my belt now. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, now I gotta just put these little guys back up. So, uh, try to put up with this for a little bit. Let's, uh, get all of these stacked up. Alrighty. So, first, this little half over here. Uh, come on. All right, in order. And then these. Come on. All righty, there we go. Kind of nice little uniformity between the twos. Then we got Hana Monogatari, which was the... Uh... Oh, God, I've, like, lost count of, like, which numbers these are. Like, the... The fourth arc in the second season. 
Got this from Right Stuff for around 50 bucks. Thank you a lot, Aniplex. And then, there you are, Suki Monogatari, which is like the uh, final arc, I think. It has been like a while, but yeah, there's little Yotsugi and Shinobu, freaking adorable. It's a good little season, or like arc. I liked it. Come on. Mm. Wait, no, wrong one. There. Okay. Mm. Okay, next up, which doesn't actually have a thing down here, but we got the Koyomi Monogatari. Haven't actually seen this one yet, but I do plan to save up and get the um, other ones, the Owari Monogatari and the Kizu Monogatari sets. But at 70 bucks a pop almost, I'm like, yeah, no, it's a bit. Um, this was an impulse buy, another Aniplex one thing, I got this for just around like 40 bucks, and I'm like, I have no idea what this is, but I mean, you know, the art looks kind of nice, and, um, two other reasons, I'm not gonna go into that, but, yeah, come freaking hell, come on, you. Alrighty, and plus it's limited, I love my limiteds. Alright, we're getting other box sets now, and I'm around halfway through with the battery life, so, <laughs> let's kick it. We got My Love Story, cost me around 40 bucks. Not too bad, I've seen clips of it, but not the whole thing. But I've heard good things about it. Next up, we've got Tanaka-kun is always listless. Now this one I know nothing about, but I got it for like 30 bucks and it came with like a lot of cool little things in there. Yeah, like I'm a sucker for anything with like soundtracks and booklets and oh, it comes with an eye mask and a door hanger and art cards. Yeah, like fucking soundtracks because I love to like go over soundtracks to see like if there's any music. Oh, fuck. That I'd like to use down the line for like Angel Beats Insanity or Deers or even Green Green Abridged. Yes, I've not forgotten Green Green Abridged or Overbridged. Uh, here we got Comic Party Revolution to finish off the Comic Revolution series that I bought. Um, got this online for around 10 bucks. Pretty good, and the freaking chipboard is in really great condition, too. I uh, got this next one, and I'm sure a lot of people may know what this is. OG Fruits Basket. This was also $10, and I just, you know what, you know I already own it. But I mean, and I even have like a Blu-ray version of it, but I'm like, the art box. It's so nice, and this is so nostalgic for me. Alrighty, next up, Black Clover. Now, I was very trepidatious about getting this one just because of like all the ah! <coughs> screaming. Yeah, but I do have them all. It's just that these are, um, ah, fuck, it's gonna be a, hold on. It's gonna be a pain to do this, but you know what? I might as well show you guys on camera while I have it. So that's volume one, and then all the other ones are in there with the art book, so I just wanted to do that so that I could show you. So put you back in nya, and you no. I gotta be careful putting this thing back in because one time this thing almost fell out. Alrighty. Twin Star Exorcist, got this off right stuff, and oh, I got this off of right stuff for like 30 bucks, like the part the part three with the box and then all the other ones for like around 30 bucks except for one and two this one though was 30 i think and um it just came with volume one i'm probably gonna wait for the other volumes to just go down in price but the uh trailers i saw seemed interesting so picked that up ah but here's a piece de resistance the two overlords yes now with overlord it comes as no surprise that i freaking love this show and thank Bektos for even introducing me to this show with doing the abridged version. Um, comes with lovely artwork on both sides. I do believe I took it off on this side. Yes, I did. Yeah, look at that. These are so nice. Though I am a little bit peeved that like with the... I know that it was on this one because I love the opening. You cannot see the openings without the damn subtitles. And I'm like, god damn it. I just... I want the footage without all the stupid obstructive text. But no, so whatever. This is another one I wanna say G, G Arcada, 
um, uh, introduced me to this one just because I saw his video, the um, Haven't You Heard I'm Sakamoto, and this was like only 30 bucks, and I'm like, again, you know, soundtrack, it comes with like a little microfiber cleaning cloth, and you know, since I got glasses and everything, I thought that'd be kind of handy, but you know, nice, uh, just saw like the first episode, <laughs> and then I just kind of like got so much other shit, and oh god, these things are freaking falling out, I'll just take these out, then I'll put this one back in. But we got the uh, set three and four of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And again, uh, may seem very weird, but like I've still not seen these yet. Because I'm just like building this up so I can just binge the whole damn thing. Shit, I am like at almost 11 minutes. I think I may only have time right now to just do this and then do the steel books later. Shit. Man, I think I ramble on too much. Try not to, but I kind of want to at least give you guys something interesting. Ah, come on. So freaking... Come on, there you are. And then, finally, Season 4 of High School DxD, DxD Hero. Shit, the freaking plastic's all coming off now. Came with like a little tapestry and an art book. Very NSFW. And I can at least say now that I have fully watched all four seasons now. <laughs> Konako was best girl. Then we got season two of Testament of Sister New Devil. Season three when I... I such a guilty pleasure and the music is so fucking awesome. I cannot... I'm going to say how good the music is in this. And it's still a fun show. Some people may just write it off as smut, but you know what? Crossover, Testament, and freaking DXD. Do it fucking now. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, 12. Two minutes, I'm cutting it close, but only three more. Freaking G Gundam. Now, this one is a guilty pleasure. I've always loved it and the how non-PC it was. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Tequila Gundam. The Canadian Gundam. But, yeah, freaking loved it. I ain't gonna put these back because that's just gonna waste more time. Next up, we got Principal... Prin now, got it freaking backwards. Prince's Principal. <laughs> and again, I got this one for around 40 to 50 bucks, and it comes with some coasters and a fabric poster, and I freaking love fabric posters. It's the other side. And then we got Pat Labar. And this one comes with... Yeah, the movies, the series, and the OVAs. And I got this for around 30 bucks as well, so like that was a damn good deal. So yeah, let's okay, I do have enough time to at least put these back for right now. Come on. Yeah, I wanna have to freaking take the plastic off of these suckers. Oh god, you yourself. So... Ah! Come on! Okay. Yeah, definitely gonna have to save the steel books for another time. Oh! Well, alrighty. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and watch out for the next videos that I'm going to be sprinkling out through January. But look forward to Angel Beats 5. Um, uh, Dears of Bridge 6 is coming along. Just wanted to update you guys on that, and, well, have a happy new year. Here's to 2020. This is Devil Kick Sanji signing out.